would like to start off my talk with a quote from Buddha. Centuries ago, he argued that we will remain unenlightened unless we let go of our instinct that the world exists as we see it. Perceptions fundamentally shape the way we see the world. However, these perceptions are not 100% reliable. Often, they can provide us with a good indication of reality, but inaccurate perceptions will undoubtedly steer us in the wrong direction. A couple of months ago, I moved here to Malawi from my home in the United States. And admittedly, I didn't really know what to expect. I had perceptions that I had formed from sources like the sad TV commercials asking for donations to help the swollen bellied kids. I had perceptions that came from The Lion King, a movie which taught me about the African Serengeti and the wondrous circle of life. I even had perceptions that came from The Jungle Book, a children's story set in India. In my head, the developing world seemed to be this indifferentiable blended entity. And to me, Africa was a homogeneous place encompassed by dirt roads, huts, starving children, roaming animals, and some potential cause of death lurking behind every corner. Although some of these problems may be true for many places in Africa, they don't hold true for the entirety of the continent. Africa is this widely diverse place with many different developing countries experiencing tremendous growth and innovation. My lack of real world experience initially caused me to form some untrue perceptions and these inhibited me when I first came to Malawi. I remember a few weeks ago when my friend and I got stuck not too far from city center and we had to find our way back home to school. And instead of taking this opportunity to enjoy this wonderful day in this new city, in the country where I now lived, I was scared that I'd be murdered, robbed, or kidnapped. And the funny thing is, my friend and I were walking in broad daylight. Obviously, I've long since grown out of these ridiculous perceptions, but it's clear that they initially did limit me. So how do we form these perceptions? Perceptions form from a variety of sources, but primarily through the media. As I mentioned before, books, movies, and TV shows play a role in forming them. However, the news is perhaps the biggest player in influencing an indi individual's perceptions. In reference to a current issue, the Ebola crisis provides a perfect example of skewed perceptions. In the United States, when the epidemic first started, the crisis was portrayed as being in the entirety of Africa. This not only pushed inaccurate stereotypes about what was going on, but it furthered the typical foreigner belief that Africa was one huge power, disregarding its multiple sovereign nations. And this in itself leads back to another perception, that Americans are horrible at geography. And although this is painfully true in my case, it won't be true for every American that you meet. So this brings me to my point of overcoming perceptions. How do we do this? I believe that we must first acquire first-hand knowledge or some type of real-life experience about what we're making perceptions about. In my case, moving to Malawi from the United States provided me with a multitude of insight that I never would have achieved if I remained in my home. However, I could argue that attending Bishop McKenzie International School here in the long way has opened my eyes even more. Every day, I come into contact with various people from different places around the world. And my friends have taught me about how inaccurate some of my perceptions about the world can be. Thanks to them, I now know that Colombia is a place full of love and life and is more than a country that is ridden with drugs, violence, and Pablo Escobar. My perception of Pakistan has expanded to being more than a country that is part of the Middle East and the war on terror. These experiences have not only helped me to become more knowledgeable and open-minded about our world, but they have helped me to become a little bit more enlightened about our human experience. And this goes to show that anyone can break down false perceptions, and it can be done without world travel. The change can start right here at your front door in the long way. With the multitude of people residing in this city from around the world, it's easy to explore new cultures, and analyze your worldview from the comfort of your own home. So this all boils down to one main point. Don't judge a book by its cover. If we are the readers, 
and the world is our book. We wouldn't want to miss out on reading the story of a lifetime, now would we? Thank you. <laughs>